Hi everyone, today I'm going to speak about the SQ in the Venus sequence. The SQ is the period between zero and seven years old. That is when you are going to have the imprinting in a physical sense, in that what's going to become cell memories because you're too young to really process anything emotionally and understand it emotionally and mentally. So here we have the child that is becoming its own being. The core is where we have the nine month in the womb, the vocation sphere. It's going to be the nine month in the womb. We're bathing in the waters of the womb when you're taking on that task that already your lineage had taken on. But because especially the 5,000 last years, it's been very dark on earth, very dense. So it has been hard for our ancestors to actually really be able to unwind the wound that is in the core wound or the vocation. So now we are being able to do that. And in the imprinting that happens in the seven first years from zero to seven on a physical and cellular level, uh, that's one hint. Then we also have the EQ, the emotional imprint from eight to 14. And then the IQ, the more mental imprinting from 15 to 21. That's what's gonna give us uh, an idea of what is it that the soul came here to work with. So all the things that happened to you from your zero, zero years old to 21 is going to help you remember what you came here to work with, what the soul came here to resolve, we could say. So in the seven first years, we have the SQ. And what's important to remember here is that this is what our inner child needs because it was what the child needed and especially you can see it in the line of the sq and you can get also more information by looking at the key and at this point when we come to a certain level of awareness we have to let go of making our parents responsible for our life we are stepping in and we are becoming that divine parent for ourselves so it is about re-establishing the relationship with the inner child and maybe you have not really even gone there you might not even want to acknowledge that there is a child inside of you maybe you've done a lot of work and going gone back to that inner child and maybe the inner child isn't completely even trusting you yet the work is to become aware of the inner child to, to re-establish a connection and then become the parent the responsible parent for that child so if you have a first line sq it is about rhythm routine security it's physical in the sense of it's that basic the, cra the cradle and the in holding the child in your arms and having the child feel the heartbeat is that that physical connection that that we have so that is something that can continue your whole life where you don't feel safe you don't feel cradled so as a parent to yourself you need to give yourself that first line those keywords that are there that are telling you about that foundation about that safety about that routine that makes you feel like there is structure and you can trust right that is important and then you can look at the gene key and the gift especially and you understand that that's also something that's going to possibly be what you are going to use to have that inner child listen to you again so for me for example the gene key is 61 so inspiration so when i am inspired and i feel into what both on a physical level and a kind of childlike level what inspires me that's one way for me to connect with that inner child and then in the second line that is about wildness and also healthy boundaries so if you are a parent to yourself if you have a second line it is definitely about allowing yourself the freedom and the passion but also having those boundaries for your inner child and being a responsible parent because maybe you had way too strict parents when you were a child or maybe you didn't even care so you didn't even feel like you had that mirroring that reciprocity that the second line really needs so you want to give yourself that wildness the passion but also the boundaries so that the child and your child can feel safe if you have a third line it's all about playfulness about pleasure and understanding because this is a child that is not here to live with an agenda it's a child that is here to be in trial and error to be in humor and laughter and you want to be a parent that provides that a parent that brings in pleasure and fun into the life and the life of the child and also that you don't shame it it's super important with the third line if you have a fourth line which is my line it's going to be about kinship and community and about trust so you want to bring the child to those relationships both between you and the child and to others where there is trust where there's kinship where there is this 
coming across with your truth from the heart to the other. That is so important for the fourth line child. And if you're almost always alone, it's not going to be happy. And if you're always with people, it's not going to be happy. It's that healthy, when am I alone? When am I together? Who can I trust? Who is there for me? Who is part of that community? Beings that love to do things together. And if you have a fifth line SQ, that is called role models with integrity. So what your inner child needs is a parent that is in integrity, a parent that is not corrupted, a parent that is strong and that shows up. Because the fifth line is going to be the more po most powerful and impactful of all of them. And it also means that your inner child is here to grow up to be powerful and impactful. So you want to be impeccable in that sense. And also, there can be something about projection. So it's important for you as well to have that kind of respect with the child. That it's not just to blame the other. There, there has to be also a respect in the relationship. That's very important for the fifth line. And if you have a six line SQ, the child needed patience, the child needed space. It's a child is very sensitive, a child from the future. The six line is all about the future. So possibly if you have a six line SQ, you didn't have that. You had to be in an environment that wasn't ideal for you. So now as a parent for an inner child that is a six line, you need to give the child that space that time and see what's the timing of this child. It's almost like it's going back to the first line about the rhythm. Now here you have to see what is the environment? What is the timing? What is the people and the values that, is, that, that are going to support this child as it's going to evolve into that being that is going to be an example of what takes us into the future. So it's the parent that has to be really perceptive to listen to that child. There's so much wisdom in it. And it's going to require that trust as well with the child. It's very important with the sixth line that the child feels that you are seeing the same direction and that there is like a vision that you have together. So here we have done the progression from the first line to the sixth line in the SQ. And our thing to step up to here is that we are becoming the parent that we didn't have. We are taking responsibility. We're not blaming our parents. We're not expecting them to be what we needed. We're stepping in, we're reestablishing that connection with the inner child and we're giving the inner child what it needed. And we can understand that both by looking at the keynotes of the line and looking especially at the gift frequency of the gene key. So I hope that was helpful and I would like to do this for all of the spheres in the Venus sequence. The Venus work is shadow work. So it's go, going deep, going back, seeing what hurt instead of repressing what hurt. And then, like I said before, we can re-imprint those parts of us, the emotional, the physical, the mental, the spiritual. And for me, what I'm doing next is an immersion that is called a whole, which is a journey to wholeness, where we are going through all the spheres in the Venus sequence. We're also going back to the conscious moon, which is not in the Venus sequence. We only have the unconscious moon. We're going through Mars and Venus and the moon, both conscious, unconscious, and also the purpose, which is the unconscious earth. And we're bringing in all the Venus work, all the imprints that are there and also adding that layer of intimacy which is part of relationships and the whole Venus sequence is so that we can relate to other, ourselves in the world in a way that is sovereign that is in wholeness and not in fragmentation uh, so I'm looking forward to that and you can follow me in the next few spheres where we're going through the lines as well or reach out to me if you're interested in the whole immersion that's a four month journey that we are going to do from the end of this month all the way to January. Thank you.